So Romeo actually jumped into a hotel spa in Jakarta about a year ago, and the thermostat was actually broken, so when he jumped in, the water was basically boiling water. So luckily enough, we had the cold pool next to the hotel, and we were able to chuck Romeo in there, so we had the cold water on his body, and then we rushed him to the hospital. When Romeo arrived here, uh, he was clearly in a situation where he'd had a major injury. That major injury was life-threatening. So we spent a lot of time trying to salvage everything we could, seal the surface as fast as we could, so that we can reduce the scarring. Wants to hear it. The appearance of extreme scars can be a problem, but they can also cause terrible pain and itch. It gets a bit itchy, doesn't it? Scars can also inhibit movement and prevent the skin functioning as an organ. Romeo was burnt all the way from his shoulders down. And what's fascinating is how some areas look absolutely pristine and like his arm is all really nice. And then we have areas that are scarred more aggressively around. Our holy grail is to heal without scarring. But all too often, even though we've made progress, people escape that and they still scar. The next question is, can we unscar the scar? Professor Wood and her team are studying the role of lasers in remodelling scar tissue by drilling microscopic holes in the scar. Through this process, the collagen reforms into the pattern of normal skin. With the laser, we've gotten a chance of unscarring these other areas that have been more aggressive and more difficult to treat. It's all solid to begin with, and it's hard scar and itchy, yeah? Slowly and then it slowly breaks down in the remodeling and it fades back down. It was the best Christmas present any one of us had here when he went home. He's done extremely well. One of the things about burns is it matters who you are. And burns at age don't mix, don't mix well at all. For example, Cyril. Hi there, Cyril. How are you? Having your lunch? Some of the worst burn injuries can take place in the most ordinary of settings. Have a say hello. For 87-year-old Cyril, a daily breakfast routine led to third-degree burns. I don't know what happened. I must have staggered and fell into the porridge. You'd think that would be innocuous, but it's a life-threatening injury. In, an, in a gentleman on the wrong side of 80. As we get older, our skin gets thinner. That's so right. for the same amount of temperature, you would get more damage. That's the area that we need to repair. Professor Wood and her team have developed a world-first method for repairing severe burn injuries. It's called spray-on skin. First, she harvests a patch of healthy skin from Cyril's arm. And we process those skin cells at the bedside and immediately place them back. And you can see the plume of cells coming off. When we harvest the cells, it's a mixed bag. We have the waterproof cells, we have the pigment cells, we also have the stem cells. And we can use that to spray. They're the engine room of the skin. And so those cells, when we place them on the wound, in their natural environment, will continue to divide and keep making more cells. I won't do too much pressure. Yes. Cyril's operation went well today. He's had antibiotics, so we're all good. We will keep all that wrapped up now for 48 hours. Okay. It will take probably about seven to 10 days before we know that he's absolutely healed. Be careful where you put your elbows in your porridge in the future. <laughs> <laughs>